It's a warm, sunny January 21st, 2017 afternoon. And here we see it, CSX eastbound manifest train. Currently, the train is blowing through the downtown crossings of Lake City, Pennsylvania, and is approaching CP100. CP100 still sports classic New York Central signals. Today's train is led by a freshly painted YN3B paint scheme, Dash 8 wide cab. This past summer, CSX retired all of the standard cabs of this model, and so wide cabs are the oldest GE engine that CSX typically uses. While this train was going by, we got word that NS Eastbound Hotshot Intermodal Train, NS 206, was approaching. So, we decided to catch half of this train and move to Norfolk Southern Tracks, approximately a quarter mile to the south, to catch the 206. As soon as we arrived, the headlight of NS 206 is clearly visible, approaching Wallace Junction. Wallace Junction is a classic nickel plate road interchange point with the best from Lake Erie Railroad, although almost no interchanges happen here anymore. As you can see, this place still sports nickel plate signals, but with the replacement standing guard, their time is short. The Norfolk Southern began replacing the signals this fall. Today's train is led by the typical power, a Dash 9. Also note the reflection puddle that was left from the day before his rain. <laughs> Norfolk Southern 206 is a high priority interroller train running from Chicago, Illinois to Mechanicsville, New York. Our main reason we were out on this day was to catch two very rare things coming after these trains. The first was the Norfolk Southern Locomotive Erie Heritage Unit trailing on a CSX westbound manifest train. Then after that, a Kansas City Southern rare foreign power leader was expected to be on 22K. As soon as 206 clears, chatter comes on the radio from CSX. We barely make it there when this eastbound train comes through. This train is led by a YN2 painted AC4400 CW. These locomotives are some of the first AC locomotives CSX bought. As soon as this train pulled 
farther east, we set up at the other side of the road for the long-anticipated train, CSX S351-21. Today's train had an awesome lash-up, with two ES40 DCs in the lead, along with two CSX Classic 4-axle power, along with the Erie Heritage Unit. As you can see here, the westbound is charging up the hill, heading west. As soon as CSX S351 passes the Fairplane Road crossing, we move back south to Norfolk Southern. About an hour later comes NS14M. At first, GT Rail fan and I were confused that this we thought this was a KCS unit and thought it was 22K until we heard a call of the signal at Wallace. Today's train is led by two Union Pacific AC4400 CWs. Another half hour after 14M passed the crossing, we see Norfolk Southern 22K coming around the curve at Haggerty Road. Today, Kansas City Southern number 4783 is doing the honors, along with the Norfolk Southern Dash 9. We also hope you enjoy our underview shot of this train as well. The underview, sh the underview shots were filmed with a GoPro Hero 4 Silver set at 1080p at 60 frames per second.
as 22K heads east off the Buffalo, and as C-99, a westbound local, comes west out of Swanville Siding. This train is lined up for Girard Siding to meet Norfolk Southern 310 and eastbound Manifest. This train was switching engines at GE at Lawrence Park, Pennsylvania. As you can see here, some foreign locomotives are in tow as this GP38-2 leads them west. As the end of this train goes into the siding at Girard, we thank you for watching 80 Productions and have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya and happy rail fanning and train chasing.